So don't worry about judging things by the cover, because even if you get it wrong, you'll correct your mistakes later and you'll be safe. What would be worse is if you didn't judge by the cover and watch something harmful to you, right? <laughs> you know, mistakenly. Yeah, that, that was one of our nights many years ago. We just started watching the first few episodes of any old anime and reviewing them. We but saw a lot of guns. <laughs> Too many guns. I saw some things I can't unsee. <laughs> All right, so we're getting to the 2016 chart. Now, you, last year we did the summer chart, but this year we, I explained this before the panel started, but we got some latecomers, right? Uh, last year we did the summer chart. This year, Anime Boss was a week earlier. Most of these shows that we're gonna talk about today or, you know, we've never seen before. They right? were released, like, next week. Yeah, they're gonna come out really soon. So if any of these shows that you're excited about, keep Google searching for them for, like, a week. Search for them on all your streaming sites. Their first episodes are gonna be out really soon if they're not out already. And let's go! Okay, show number one, let's see. Twelve Sai Chicha something Tokimeki. Okay. Uh, physiological change, I'm already a little worried. Well, it, it's not, right? So it looks like it's a cute sort of elementary school shoujo kind of thing, right? You know, it's a depiction of 12-year-old girl's innocent worries. The style reminds me a little bit of, maybe to heart, but more like almost Toto Child. Like child it reminds style. me more of like Touch, almost, right? Uh, sort of like touch. actually innocent elementary school kind of action. But at the same time, you know, the, the depiction of 12-year-old girls' innocent worries and first love, I feel like this is a show that will be watched by 12-year-old girls and also a creepy dude. <laughs> I am never the twin shall meet. Oh, I hope, it's like in the Pokemon card game tournament where you got the little kids and you got the old guy, right? So, I mean, maybe if you know, if you like elementary school shoujo, this could be a good deal. I, mean, I guess it's just, I'm always leery when an anime in particular touches on the subject matter, because anime is a place where technically she's not my sister is a genre. Right. And especially, you know, accidentally witnessing the homeroom teacher kissing is not, you know, good subject matter. Okay, let's move on. Uh, idol show! It's an idol show! Oh my god. Bad There's idol been show. a lot of idol shows there. Well, Idol Master is just crushing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess if you like idol stuff, here's another idol show for you to watch. There is no reason to watch the show if you're already watching the other eight idol shows that came out. But maybe idol shows are like your thing. Even then, just watch Perfect Blue. <laughs> that might be the best idol anime there is, but uh, it's only, it's only going to take those last you, 90 minutes. Those of you who have not seen Perfect Blue, there's a reason everyone laughed. Don't, don't tell me. <laughs> It's a really good movie. Right, I mean, this doesn't look bad other than that it's an idol anime. It does not look worth watching. If you're an idol person, yeah, then otherwise no. Like if, if idols are your guns. Like if cars are my thing, so I watch yeah. Initial D, but you know, I'm not gonna watch this. Okay, let's keep going. It this looks like yo a pedal with motorcycles. <laughs> no, this Look at the drawings of the motorcycles, okay? It's about the motorcycles. The motorcycles are the guns. If you are into motorcycles and moe, this is the show. <laughs> Those motorcycles are really- look at that brake, look how lovingly drawn that business is right there. Uh, yeah, I guess if you like- it's your pedal with motorcycles, but it seems like it has less competition in sports, right? She's trying to get her license, she's not trying to like win a motorcycle race. No, this is slice of life, she's gonna be a little bit derpy and a little spacey, and it's gonna be cute because she's like- But all the other little... girls in the motorcycle club are totally badass. Her except except for this one, this one's not, but these yeah. ones are. <laughs> He explained it to her like, oh, the brakes are on the left in America, but for the front, but they're on the right in Japan because of all this nonsense that you don't actually care about. <laughs> Alright, I guess if you like motorcycles, cool. Yeah. Battle Spirits, Double Drive, yeah, there's For a sure. lot of these, right? So these usually don't get that much attention in the United States. I mean, have any of you ever watched a show that was basically just selling kids card games? Yeah. <laughs> All the Pokemon! And Yu-Gi-Oh! And Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon! <laughs> <laughs> and Beyblade! <laughs> oh, whoa, someone's hanging with down when I said Beyblade. <laughs> It's another one of those, right? I bet if you lived in Japan, you could play this game and, and make it your number one hobby in life, and then you would want to watch this show, but I guess... You, how many people are you really going to find playing this game in the United States, right? It is! I was supposed Even to... Even in Anime Boston, you're going to have a tough time finding someone who plays Battle Spirits as their number one hobby. Oh, what was that, like, Vanguard whatever game? Like, that game actually looked better than the other ones. Like, if I had to play one of these things, I would play that Vanguard whatever But I said the same thing. That card game, who in America would play that? And then after I'd said that, I saw it around a lot. Yeah, but I saw it at a convention 
mentioned like three guys playing. It wasn't like a whole team. That's a lot. <laughs> I saw more people playing the L5R card game in Australia than I saw uh, playing uh, well, I saw, like, the card fight. What's Vanguard. interesting about these is that once we started doing these charts, I didn't realize how many of these shows there are. Right, because these charts, they cover like all the anime that are coming out, not just the ones that, you know, anime fans in the US would actually pay attention to, right? They cover everything, the kids' shows, the weird, you know, like these things that you never need to think about. So, yeah, Bandai puts out a lot of these kinds of things, and uh, so do other people. We're going to see more of them, probably, if we keep going. Let's go see. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how many seasons of Beyblade there are, but this is an alphabetical order, by the way. This isn't, like, I didn't plan this. This is B, right, look, look. Battle Spirits, Beyblade, I didn't cheat. Uh, so... It's just tough. Oh, it's the third, really, it's only the third generation of Beyblade toys? I figured, like, there'd be way more of them. Uh, I mean, how many generations of Pokemon are there total? Oh, there's way more. Than yeah, that. Right. yeah. Pokemon's older, though. I would actually, I saw a YouTube video, like, a few weeks ago. It was really cool. There's a guy who's modding his Beyblades. What, like, from Razor's out? No, he was like, he, and they were like, he's like, this Beyblade is illegal. It's so strong. And, like, they were showing how, like, this Beyblade was just, like, unbeatable. It was actually pretty cool. <laughs> It was like this really big, nasty one. He's like, yeah, if you, cut, if you put these three pieces together, it can't be beat. And I knew a kid in high school who hollowed out his cardboard slammer in Pogs and filled it with mud. <laughs> My hero. All right, I guess if you're into it, sure. Okay. Big okay, now order. Oh, oh, no, no, prefer to show. Prefer to show. Look at that gun. It is shaped like a Legend of Lenmere, 100%. That's true. Look at that lighting. I, I would write this show off without even reading the text based on that alone. But if you read the plot on the side, it actually thinks, like, it, it might be more, what was that show? Darker Into, Than Black? No, Into the New World or whatever. No, Shinseki Yori was way more subtle than that. But I'm saying it's, it had some pervertedness, but if you read the plot, there's nothing in that plot that suggests that this show is going to be a harem show or anything bad whatsoever. It's going to be a, some sort of, you know, weird kind of plot. True, but counterpoint! Lay, if, you, if I describe to you the plot of Legend of Lenmere, it sounds like it's a serious science fiction. I mean, fiction. you can describe, you can make, the, you know, you've seen the Shining trailer where it looks like a happy-go-lucky film, right? You can always, you know, frame... In a world where only tops remain. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're spinning is the key. So see what's happening here, though. The, sh the description looks good, but the show has one warning flag. So if there's even one more warning flag, we can't watch the show. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't say that you should go out and watch this show, right? I'm saying is that it's possible we could be wrong on it, but there's no reason to go and watch this, like, as it comes out, right? If suddenly we start seeing a forum thread show up that says, Oh my god, big order, then, yeah. we can, then we'll know. Oh, no, uh, no, okay, so... There's, so I, no, does anyone remember a show called Darker Than Black? Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. Really? This is like his favorite show to pick on because the only one he remembers. <laughs> it, was really, it was the show where I realized that there's a whole genre of shows where they introduce a whole bunch of proper nouns right away, like, in the land where the black stojin, and then they tell you all about what that is, there's the samoflange, they tell you about what that is, there's this giant mystery, there's like a big wall around the city, or some sort of crap, and they don't deal with that until like 20 episodes in, and it's actually way more boring than you expected. This has almost enough proper nouns to write, say it's a darker than black with some perversion. Maybe. Alright, let's, let's, let's not spend too much time on the big order, right? Oh look, it's more Sailor Moon Crystal. <laughs> I would say if I didn't, if I hadn't already watched a lot of Sailor Moon Crystal, that this was going to be good because it's getting into the good parts of Sailor Moon. All ten senshi will be there. But Sailor Moon Crystal is really sloppy and crappy. <laughs> Well, I mean, apparently enough people are watching it that they're going to keep making it. I think they have to keep making it no matter what to save face. They originally only made this as for, like, the anniversary, right? It was supposed yeah. to be, like, a one-shot, all right, it's the anniversary of Sailor Moon, we have to make something, all right, we made it, good. They, I don't think there was, they would have kept going with it if it wasn't successful in some way. Though, what I've noticed is that I was watching it as it was coming out, and they basically reanimated the entire show after the initial release. It looks so different, it is a different show. Mm -hmm. So, it might be good if you wait until it's all out and done, and then watch it all in one go, like I did the original Sailor Moon. Well, it's, a, it's adapting the fifth and sixth volumes of the complete edition of the manga. You don't know anything about the manga. No, but that's what it says right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the only reason it might be worth watching is that it has the good senshi. Yeah. <laughs> don't see the candy unicorn. <laughs> Isn't that the thing that comes when you ring the bell? Yes, the clarion, whatever. But that was like the awesomest part of that one MV. Yeah, that AMV is really good. Sailor Moon Super S. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough Sailor Moon for you. Boku no Hero Academia.
Yeah. It's made by Bones. That's usually like they're pretty good. All right. So the face in the in the back left looks like what's your name from Kill La Kill. The guy in the back middle just looks amazing. <laughs> And the kid in the front looks like a kid show character, like the kind of character design you see in like typical semi show and kids show. But he's drawn better. <laughs> so it seems like the plot of the show is that eighty percent of people on Earth have superpowers. Called quirks with a capital Q. And this kid doesn't, but he's gonna get by in the world somehow, and he wants to be an awesome hero even though he has no superpowers. I feel like I've seen that exact plot somewhere before. X <laughs> Men. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's almost Steven University, too, in a way, right? Yeah. All the other crystals are super strong, and I'm just a kid. Yeah. This show could actually be fun. It could the be fun. The characters look good. It's from a pretty yeah. good studio. There is nothing indicating that this will be awful, but there's also nothing indicating that it's going to be good and worth watching and, like, stand above the rest. But it, as far as I can tell, it'll be an anime. I will watch the first episode because... If you got nothing better to do? No, I'll actually go to my way to watch it, only because the character in the front... Is a pretty well done character design that is similar to a kid's show character design. I don't know, I like the guy, I like the guy in the back more than usual. Where's your kind of guy? Yeah, anyway. That's gonna be like, what's his name, the teacher? I, in think, this, I think this might be the best show we've seen in the chart so far. Oh, hands down, best show we've seen so far. Right, good, job, bees. good job, Studio Bones, and your Voku no whatever. See, I'm telling you, bees are where it's at. Yeah, the bees. We're, we're still in the bees, we gotta move along. Okay. Bungo's trade dogs. Is this darker than black? <laughs> He's kicked out of his orphanage. He has no place to go. Wait, there's a tiger. The tiger seems to have a... What? This is also Bones. <laughs> what the hell? Bones has two shows that begin with B. Something about suicide. Then there's a tiger. Supernatural powers. There's a, all, there's a lot of weird stuff. Almost like Dora has a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, but like it seems like... They, right, it gives me that kind of feel in the description, but this seems a lot more convoluted and nonsensical. And but maybe stuff, that's just the fault of the person who wrote the description. There's stuff way back here in the background. Or that's a here. person. <laughs> and with exploding magical power around him. Well, it could be the tiger transforms into that guy. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's no tiger in this image. There's a tiger come in. The tiger's in the description. The tiger has a connection to Atsushi, something, something. <laughs> oh, they're tracking down a tiger that has appeared in the area recently. Alright, All so... Right. This is just weird. <laughs> However, the weirdest shows that aren't badly produced tend to be the best shows in every season. I mean, are we just, are we gonna trust Bones this season or not? It's not like they make gold every time they so make far, a show. So far, the two best shows we've seen in this chart are Bones. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Concrete Road. Oh my god, that name is too long. Oh my god. That's some tiny text, too. Oh, it's season two of something. Has anyone seen the season one? Someone here has to see it. Was the season one good? No. Nah, they're, they're waving their hands, I guess not. <laughs> you know what? If that paragraph in the chart is too long, I kind of just assume the show's bad. Yeah. <laughs> the only positive thing I can say about this is that for the artwork, I really like all those colors. Yeah. I, I like lots of like, bright colors like that. If the anime looked like that, I would watch it just to see. Because like the new Lupons, Fujiko Mine and then uh, Grave of Jacob Daisuke, all the new Lupons have been really, really, really good. But they're also, when, when the chart came out, they had a really sketchy, like weird design. The animation actually looks like that the whole time. That adds like a million points to my review of any show. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if I mean, the art can... here isn't really exceptional. It's not bad, but the colors are really cool. If the show were surreal and colorful like that, I'd give it a shot. But yeah, but you know, this is season two already, so I, did, I skipped over season one. Yeah. I think I'm good. That's another tell. If you see a season two for something that might look good, but you literally have never heard of and don't remember season one, there's probably a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like people were talking about season one on the internet. <laughs> All right. Oh, another one. <laughs> another one of these guys. I wonder what this is going to be like. There's 12 of these. <laughs> I like that the person who made this chart trusts you enough to be like, look, there's, there were 11 of these. You don't even need to see anything besides the logo. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all right, another one. It's not ending, by the way. It's just going to keep going. Right now, think about this. If this is the 12th one, I mean, you're only supposed to play this kind of stuff when you're like maybe eight years old, right? So someone started with the first one when they were eight is now 20. That's playing this still. That's a little old for Dual Master. Or is it like Final Fantasy, where the average person you meet at a con today has never played a Final Fantasy with a single digit right. number? We, we gotta have some sort of competition. What's better, Battle Spirits or Dual Master? <laughs> if there's 12 of them, I feel like they're doing something right. Maybe. Maybe it's just they got the longevity, so they're staying in the game, right? That's PSRF. Uh, I guess the previous series was, was probably VSRE. 
<laughs> End ride. Oh, Ooh. two two <laughs> cool dudes with weapons going on some kind of adventure. Or this something. reminds me of what was the show with the kids who get abandoned in the jungle? Number six. Yeah, number is six. That it? Maybe yeah. I think. Or do you, there's another one like that. There's two shows that were generic sci-fi set in like a weird space setting that were that looked a lot like this. Looks like a <laughs> there's a lot of words there though. There's a lot of words, but it seems mildly interesting. Right? It doesn't seem like it's going to be a fighting show. It doesn't no. seem like it has any guns. Right? It's just sort of like a, you know, a sci-fi that's not super strong that like Ghost in the Shell is, but just sort of like a regular kind of sci-fi adventure deal. If I had to guess, I guess it's going to be like that show number six. Yeah. Vaguely. Does anyone see number six? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's easier anime. to judge anime if you've seen a lot of animes. Because <laughs> then when someone says, oh, it's like that, and you don't know what that is, it doesn't help you. Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll, are we gonna end if your you are you gonna some... end your ride? Do you think this beats the bone shows? Not a way. <laughs> so the problem is a lot of these types of shows, like Tutera is similar genre to these types of shows, and that it gives you a sort of like contrived sci-fi setting, and then it puts some characters in it and just does whatever would happen in that setting. The problem with a lot of those shows is that they kind of peter out in the last two thirds mm -hmm. reliably. Right. So I would guess that this show will start really strong and let's, peter out. let's just end our ride here. <laughs> Flying Witch. I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> no guns, nothing, no danger signs, the cat looks good. Oh, there is a cute cat. Cute cat is plus points. <laughs> it looks like fun, semi slice of life. The characters look like they're having fun, no one's crying. Yeah. She goes, she goes to hang out with the witch family and learn how to be a witch. That's pretty cool. I think the show is going to be charming and delightful. I don't know why. Yeah. It's almost like, a, you know, it's not going to be crazy like a Nietzsche Joe or Azumanga Daio, but yep. the same feel, just less ridiculous. I wonder if it'll give you the feel of a uh, Magic User's Club, but less zany. Yeah, I think it definitely is lacking the zaniness, but it's just sort of like happy, having a good time, learning how to be a witch, in, you know, innocently learning you know how to be a witch. You know what Magic User's Club crossed with, like, Azumanga Daio, maybe? But those both, the zaniness is there. You yeah, the but then take the, pull the zany back, just pull it back. <laughs> I think this is the best show on the thing so far. Watch this. Yeah. If I got nothing better to do. Good job, JC staff. <laughs> now you think that this one. Du, 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 du. You think that this one might be like a parody or something, like I made this up and stuck it in here, but no, this is, this is real. Uh, it's actually called Triple D. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, you can see it there, D, D, D. But there's this one thing to call something, 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 D. It's another thing to call it the triple D. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we need to say anything else about this. Right. Something asterisk two. I didn't see asterisk one, but I heard a, I heard a moan in the audience. <laughs> when this line appeared. This reminds me... Yeah, the moan is telling. <laughs> see, we're cheating a little bit because if we don't remember a show, someone in the audience here saw it, and we'll find out. This reminds me of a really bad, obscure old show called Himiko Den. I don't know. I remember it's, there was a show called TV Go Dead. Like this about poster it. framing? It's the same kinds of characters. Look, there's a whole bunch of different girls. Well, with different it, all, types. I, it gives me sort of a harem worry in a bit, too, right? It's like, this is a dude, right? No, because the dude. <laughs> and then these are all right, the harems? The likely dude looks confident and competent. The, the that's true. That's show. weird for a harem show. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. A harem show is all tension with you. If there was a hair, if that's true, that might actually be interesting to like. If there's a harem show where like the main dude was like actually a normal, not stupid person, and there's happened to be a bunch of girls around, and he wasn't lecherous or stupid or evil or perverted. There is a show like that in the last season, but the shit is he's gay. He doesn't want anything to do with these girls, <laughs> and he's totally normal and smart, and they're crazy. <laughs> that's okay, but that's not exactly what I was no, just asking for. Right? But I'll go with that. That's fine. That's an improvement for sure. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, what if harem? Show. Okay. More idols. Oh, okay, so this one, so this one looks different from all the other ones because the image is a weird aspect ratio. And the reason is, I don't think this image is like, I think it's like from a video game or something. Because look, a multimedia project that will combine stage theater, anime, and idols, right? I think this isn't just an anime. They're trying to compete with Idol Master or something, right? Is there going to be like a theater you go to in Japan and see idols on the stage? Maybe with the Miku-style technology of like projection? I think they might have real people on the stage somewhere. I don't know what this is going to yeah. be. Now you'll notice weird things that aren't actually anime, or that are anime with a bunch of other Well, they're going to make an anime of it, and it's going to be out soon. Maybe. 
But I've seen things like this appearing in the charts more and more, and then they either peter out or never come out in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is, yeah, if you want to see that other idol show and you finish it, you can watch this one. You can tell if the, if the graphic in the chart is super low res, it means there's no information. Well, all these, all these graphics are super low res because I took them from the chart, and the chart just had little tiny thumbnails, right? So Yeah, but all of the thumbnails... If I, would have put more, if I would have put more effort into it, I could have gotten more images than Maybe not. Res. I've seen shows where you do a Google image search, and you find just the same 200 by 200 Well, it's kind of hard because the, it's, the shows are so new that there aren't a bunch of screenshots on the internet yet, right? I have to search in Japanese to find the official website and like steal images from them, which is too much work. Uh, so let's keep going. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you know what? This isn't a lie. They're really making an animal of this. Right, so previously, one time we did this panel, we started off with a bunch of fake shows like this. But this is not fake, I swear to you. They are really making it out. Are they going to just turn the game directly into an anime? Because if they're doing that, that's okay. It'll be like blues. I'll take it. I'll take it, right? But it's like I've seen it already, right? I'd much rather have you do new stuff I haven't seen yet. You know, the same characters we want with new stories, right? And how is the animation going to be, right? I yeah. can trust what well, they take one, I don't know. I they, feel like I think they if I was making this show, I would literally just use the video game engine. I wouldn't like <laughs> make, <laughs> just add voice acting. Just add voice acting and remove the text. <laughs> right? And just use the exact graphics from the well, DS. Don't use the voice acting, just do Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is real, so we're all gonna watch it, right? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Even though I'm not gonna lie, I actually haven't played several of the recent, the most recent Phoenix. I think I haven't games. played. I've played them all except the two most recent. I guess I got kind of bored with them, but if they were just an anime, I would watch that hell out of them. Yeah, I wonder how many episodes it's gonna be. It doesn't. <laughs> Look at that smug smile on Edgeworth. There's some stuff going down. <laughs> I'm gonna watch you. All right. I'm probably not gonna watch you. <laughs> 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 oh, but this is one of those Japan Sinks kind of deals. I've already Japan Sinks else. or everything but Japan Sinks? No, it's Japan Sinks. There actually, there's two movies. There's Japan Sinks and, and Everything Sinks But Japan. Uh, I haven't seen either one, but it's just funny to know those movies exist. I forget which one came first. But, yeah, J people who live in Japan are actually legit worried that Japan will sink, which I would be too. That's why I don't live there, and I also don't live in California. And it's also why I'm not going to watch this show. Uh, so, they're all about women becoming blue mermaids who keep the sea safe. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those shows where it's a bunch of young girls, but they have a contrived reason for them to have a lot of responsibility as an excuse to just show these girls doing things. And I suspect the kind the of thing that like military fanboys like, where like yeah. girls riding tanks or girls flying planes. No, actually, yeah. girls on fans are as funnier than I thought it would be. Well, that's a, that's one of those exception shows, right? Where it looks like it's gonna be. It, well, because but girls actually, on fans are is kind of making fun of that crap. Exactly. And said, We're but this looks tanks. like it is that crap. Yes. This is the crap that girls and fans are makes fun of until proven otherwise. Alright. It's one well, you, only need, you only need one word, right? You, you don't even need the second Joe. You get the first Joe, and you know what it's gonna be. All JoJo's are JoJo. You're either with the JoJo, or you don't like the JoJo. If you don't like the JoJo, get out. Get out of the whole convention, not just this room. No, I mean, okay. <laughs> I like the JoJo, but I don't watch all the JoJo. This is just too much. I watch it whenever I, you know, it's just sometimes. If you watch it all, you're going to be in trouble because then the one day you're going to wake up and you're going to need some JoJo. And you, know, you saw it, right? Some days I'm sitting there, I'm like, what should I watch, right? And you get that feel and you, you know. <laughs> I and, up, and now there's more of it, so if you're one of those people who used it all up, you're saved. <laughs> for, for now, for one more season. I skipped most of the ripple and just got straight into the stands. Yeah, the stands are where it's at. Screw ripples. Alright. <laughs> Joker, game, ooh, uh-oh, Serious Dudes and Production IG is looking good. Yep. Alright, hold on. Lieutenant something, it's military. Oh, yeah. D-Agency. There's some serious business This could, here. this might have military fanboy stuff in it. I would break away because almost all the military fanboy stuff also has more crap. But there's also no pictures of like guns or any sort of military <laughs> things in and there. The, and the faces are all kind of generic, serious, realistic and faces, it, like Gasaraki. And again, production IG, that's like almost guaranteed gold. 
Uh, I'm into this. I'll bet this will feel like Gossarocky. This is a kind of slow, brooding, serious show. It could even be a Ghost in the Shell without the cyberpunk parts. It's okay. possible. It's possible. I'm not gonna go there. That's you can't you can't say that just by looking at a picture, right? But the fact that it's set it's in, within the realm of possibility. That it's a historical fiction actually lends credence to maybe it's like Ghost in the Shell set in the World War II era. Mm. Like that kind of business. Who knows? But yeah, uh, this one's getting episode one at least for sure. Now there were other shows that were like this in past seasons, but the reason that we decided they were bad and ended up being bad is that the character designs were kind of all off and cheap and not that well put together. <laughs> These are very, despite very similar faces, they're all distinguishable. So effort went into the character designs. Yeah. Yeah. My worry though is that this could be one of those shows meant for the military history, you know, fanboys in Japan. Right? I'm kind of a military history fan, right? Oh, I mean, okay. uh, <laughs> Men in the High Castle is really good for that. Yeah, whatever. All right, but yeah, this is promising. Wait, wait, but this is this is Joker game, and this is alphabetical order. So K comes after J. Kaito Joker three, third season. It's the third season. I never even knew this existed. It looks like a kid show. It's like Card Captor Soccer, but with a dude, but way crazier. All right, I guess if you're in elementary school, uh, or if you have kids in elementary so school, you can show them this. Is that the main villain? I think it's a, this has to be the main character, and that has to be like the cute pet friend, right? I think that that's that, the main character. <laughs> that has to be the wacky sidekick, right? Like if Chrono Trigger was the girl you meet right away. Oh, Luca? Yeah, that's Luca over there. <laughs> Luca's not really that wacky, she's just boring, you don't want her to part. But the character her. design looks like Luca too, almost with a weird hat with a... No, she looks visor. more like the little ninja master from that one weird old anime. Mm, I don't know, what if? Alright, you don't need to watch this. You don't need to watch this either, it looks like pretty much the same thing. It's all the, look at this, all the, all the elementary school shows like next to each other. Right? Alphabetically. So, so, so I guess it's the, the B's, D's, and K's. Whoa, okay, so look, he has, a, he has a cute pet friend too, it's his dog. That dog is not cute. Like, who, want, who wants any of these things? That dog is like, that no. dog's looking like a Jibaku face. Oh, these are all the toys grandma buys you by accident, thinking you wanted this. <laughs> you got that instead, you're like, grandma, it's the wrong one, I want Wait, Pikachu. the dog is a space dog named Wanda. <laughs> And they use a camera-like device and key items to capture Bugmen. <laughs> Truman and Bugmen. They're unrelated to Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't see any elementary school kids in the audience, so we can keep going. All right. Oh, oh. Is that Char? On okay, no, hold on. So listen, I know I'm a big Gundam fan, and I'm sure many of you are even bigger Gundam fans, right? But this, you know, at first glance, you're like, Gundam, oh my god, yes! Oh my god, I've never seen this title of a Gundam before, yes, but when you read this, if you know Gundam... It's Unicorn. It's Gundam Unicorn. Exactly. <laughs> this is exactly the same thing as Gundam Unicorn. It's just, Gundam Unicorn already exists, you can watch it, it's really good, you can just, right? They're just taking the exact same thing and making a TV series and giving it a different title, I don't know why, it makes no sense to me. Yeah, Laplace is, are they just gonna drag it out? It's the exact same show. You know who's gonna be there. Are they gonna change the plot? Are they gonna add scenes? I mean, what the hell are they gonna do? This has happened in the past. There was a Tenchi Muyo OAV, But this, pretty good. Usually you do a compilation movie, you make a movie that sums up a TV series. This is, mm. you had an OVA series, and they're expanding it to a you TV series. You forget sense. This happened with two popular shows, and others. Tenchi Muyo had a popular OAV, then they expanded it out and made a very was the TV was the TV show just a retelling of the OAV? Mostly, but expanded. No. But was it literally the exact same thing? No. Like, no. See, this seems like it's be literally the exact same thing. Like, why are you redoing? Give us a so. El Hazar had an OAV that was very different from the TV show. Uh, the TV show starts at the exact same point and then just diverge, and the TV show is extremely. Also yeah. yeah. But yeah. Give us new Gundam, don't just redo the old Gundam. What's wrong with you? What story is left in the Gundam world? I mean, this is, so we're already at UC 96, UC 100, just make it happen, right? The next Gundam anniversary that's like a nice round number, UC 100, let's do it. Okay. Kuna something something. Okay, we know, so the description doesn't tell us anything. Uh, Are they dressed like cows, or is that cow armor? I think it's cow, so I think it's cow armor. And why is he dressed like a samurai? And wh what's this girl for? Is she the magical girl? And who's this? And what's that? And where does this go? I'm pretty 
sure we don't have to watch this? I guess this, if I, I don't know, is it a crossover with Silver Spoon and Rings of Green? Like, what's going on? Oh, that's definitely power armor. That's not cow outfit. Yeah, it's definitely some kind of, they're going to fight something. But she's wearing tennis shoes. Are they going to fight aliens? I don't know. I can't tell. Whatever. Okay. It's another second season of something. Oh, we're going to go Takahashi stuff. Oh, okay. It's more... She's still making stuff? How old is she? This is gonna she be must be like 70-something, right? <laughs> Most of the stuff that she's made recently, in my opinion, just goes on forever and nothing happens. So, I suspect... It was downhill after the Inuyashas? Inuyasha was not great. Inuyasha went downhill <laughs> oh, snap. when the gem exploded and became a million pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that good Rumiko Takahashi must be pre-Inuyasha? Is that I, what you're saying? I am say? saying that. Uh, I'm, I'm moving the line a little bit further, like in the middle of Inuyasha somewhere, but... Yeah, you can't. I guess you can't trust her anymore. But she guess she still needs money to live, right? So. <laughs> just no one talks about this, and it's been out for a long time. I didn't even know she was still making anything. This was in the chart last year. We talked about it. We reviewed one. You think I remember that? <laughs> All right, whatever. Macross Delta. Okay, so I didn't. I'm like a big Macross fan, but I'm only a fan of the original Macross. I didn't watch Macross Frontier. Wait, wait. Has any Macross been good since Plus? Uh, I don't know. Some, there, are some, there are some people who like Macross Frontier, even though when I judged it by the cover, it was not looking good. It's no Macross 7, dynamite, 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 explosion. Right. <laughs> but this one, judging by the cover, looks better than the cover of Macross Frontier, so maybe they're gonna make it okay? It's set eight years after Macross Frontier, so I guess I have to watch Macross Frontier if I'm gonna have to understand. Wait, based on all these girls Delta. down here, this is gonna be 95% idol, 5% Macross. <laughs> but Macross is idol. Yeah, but I think it's going to focus on more. Look how many idols there are. When's the last time you watched the original Macross? The original Macross? Macross Macross? Yeah. There aren't that many idols. It's about idol magic. Yeah, but how much percent of each episode do you think is dedicated to Min Mei nonsense versus robots? But there's only one Min Mei. There's like six Min Mei's down there. <laughs> I don't think those are Min-Mays, I think those are all pilots, and I think this is the min May here, and this is like some fighter person, and these are all fighting people, and these might be bad guys too, right down here. This is, there's only one min May, and it's that person. Eh. Yeah, I'm still not gonna watch it. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna rewatch Macross the original again. Alright. Magi Sinbad. Oh, pirates. Look at that guy in the back. That guy looks like Poseidon. I hope it's Poseidon. Poseidon's my favorite god who is not real. So, <laughs> I did flip through these slides right before we came down to Boston just to make sure like it worked. Because, you know, it was my laptop and everything. And I was flipping through, and I said, oh, that show looked cool. And Emily told me that we watched the first episode of the previous season of this and that we thought it was boring. I didn't, I don't remember that. It must have been you only. It wasn't me. I don't remember it either. But I like, I was told that I found it boring. This doesn't say it's the second season, first of all, even though there is a colon in the title, which means it might be. But I like Sinbad the Pirate, so it's something based on Sinbad the Pirate. Yeah. Some badass pirate dude. So this might But I guess I can just watch One Piece and want to see some pirates, right? (laughs) One Piece is not actually about pirates. I know that. Nothing even close to pirates has been like that ever. (laughs) One Piece and Naruto are about Wizards. Well, <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to reinvestigate, but yeah. I'll put it this way. This is a new heuristic. If this show is boring and bad, and I find out that I did watch the previous season and forgot because it was that boring, then it means that this is a kind of show that appeals to both of us a lot, and then we're wrong about it reliably. <laughs> and I think it's Poseidon back there. I think it's good character designs and possibly questionable plots, right? Yeah. <laughs> This show, Whoa. so when I was making the slides and this show, when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, this show has two ways it can go, glory or despair. Right? If it, it could be, if you look at this picture and you look at that text, this could be new Bokurano. It yeah. could be, and it would be the most glorious because we really need something like that. There hasn't been one since Bokurano. Uh, but this could also be like the Eden of the East where it starts out like a Bokurano and then goes, <laughs> yeah. So, is it, have you seen Bokurado? Who's not? If you seen? haven't, you, the manga is actually all out now in English. You can buy it all. It starts a lot like this a whole bunch of kids, and it doesn't really tell you what's going on. They're just like on a school trip, and then things go downhill, and the show is just about a series of children. Right, so, these people go into the mountains death. to this village on a bus trip, and the village is whoa, and then they're in, I guess they're in this weird village for the rest of the show. 
Uh, that sounds pretty cool to me, all mysterious. In despair over the real world, waiting to escape the tedious daily life, waiting to restart. This is Bocorano too. It could be. I think, you know. I'm Children thinking. dying boogaloo. But I mean, I am, I am 100% going to watch episodes of this show until it proves it is not Bocorano. You like, it is not a spoiler to tell you the kids die in Bocorano. Every episode a kid dies. <laughs> it's a spoiler to tell you which one's in which order. Yeah. Okay. This show is getting watched, definitely. This is that's the best show we've seen so far. Nope. <laughs> Something, something generic. I think I can nope this one too, maybe. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, what the hell's even going on? This kid got sucked into an alternate dimension where he's rescued by a magical girl. I guess someone's burden more than he can imagine, and then enemies one by one, and then he doesn't look too happy about it, right? Whatever. He has the power to rewind death. I mean, the poses, the poses that the characters are in is really, you know, telling everything, right? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, so some people know what the deal is. Alright, so I can't lie to you. I cannot judge this by the cover. Although if I did, judging would be positive. <laughs> Somebody put the trailer for this show in our forum before I made these slides. We have passed the trailer over to our EV technician, who is about to show you this trailer. But this show... You're gonna need to watch the trailer. You can read the trailer. Good to everyone, you know. He just a, gets good grades. He's the ultimate yeah. badass. Because like, even Mr. Most... Perfect, and but he's a glorious Mr. Perfect. Even in most shows like this, perfect. initial D, anything. The, the great guy who's perfect and doesn't care, just great at everything, will lose like once or twice to drive the plot. This guy ain't losing shit. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't losing nothing. Sakamoto, you got my eyeballs on your anime. <laughs> I think it's actually based on a manga, maybe, right? Yeah. I would assume so. If, I, if it is, I'm gonna read that too. The shows like this that are kind of a short, kind of simple concept that are based on a comic tend to, in their initial trailers, have really, really static scenes because they didn't actually finish like their animation character designs and make the show yet or anything. We should be seeing episodes of this in a few weeks, uh, for sure. So I'll yeah, watch this. We gotta watch this, we gotta watch the, the one that's like Bocorano, we gotta watch the possibly military-ish one. Alright, yeah. we got some good shows coming this season. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going, yeah. Sanchez, Sanchez, Sanchez. What's happening to that girl on the bottom? <laughs> this is a Moe show. Oh no, it's a harem show. There's a dude back there. <laughs> but this girl's a chair? <laughs> Wait, one of them is actually a demonic class president. I think we're good, right? We, we, it's a harem we show. We don't right? need to watch it's this. It's a harem show. We're good. Something, something. Oh, something. here's darker than black. <laughs> At least it's a fantasy anime. Yeah. Right? See, you know, usually if a show is a sci-fi or a real world thing and it does the million proper nouns, it's usually really bad. But fantasy shows can sometimes get away with that. But I don't know about this one. Yeah, I don't think you need to go here. Oh, there's like a fox girl. There's that blonde guy. Oh, there are some guns. They're two Robo Reds in these, uh, but our, our audience has pointed them out to us. Ooh. They're on the left, yeah. Ooh. They don't have full specular highlights, though. I don't think the people making this at Bridge could animate that well, so <laughs> that was their, that was their Also, those ears are not good. Yeah. All right. Well, wait a minute. Shonen made. It's not, it's not a made. That's a dude. Wait, that's a dude. <laughs> This is for this is guns if the guns you're into is Shota. No. <laughs> I know 
seems like there's this rich family, and then they help out this. They make a They help boy. out this poor kid by making him their servant. <laughs> and I think he has to dress up as a girl. But he likes it. <laughs> yeah. But okay. suddenly finds himself in a maid. You know, I'll tell you what. If you're ever homeless and poor, and a rich family says, "Hey, you can live with us, but you have to dress up like a maid." <laughs> You might be better off homeless. <laughs> uh, he seems really happy, though. That's messed up. Okay. <laughs> Something Yoji's. She doesn't want to be an exorcist, but then, of course, she's going to be an exorcist, right? There's nothing she can do about Wait, it. Wait, I, I swear, every single chart for the last three or four years, one of the characters is a girl holding a mask like that, looking pensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a cute animal down here. How you doing? My butt is made of fire. Alright. Yeah. We don't need to worry about this. It's just a Genero anime. I don't see anything, any reason to watch this. It's a, you know, it doesn't seem like there's anything bad about this. Genero anime, we don't care. I feel like you can take this picture and... <laughs> so yeah, when I was making the chart, I had the same reaction you all just had. This is probably the most horrific show on the thing. Right? But they grow closer hey. as they begin to understand the world. Has anyone here seen... Right, you guys know Bunny Drop, right? Yeah, so Bunny Drop actually starts out cute, and it's like, yeah, he's taking care of like his stepsister or whatever, right? Effectively, right? Yep, spoilers, I'm gonna spoil it. Someone complained that we spoiled Bunny Drop in 2013. You need it spoiled. The girl that he raises, they get married in sex. Oh. It's mad yeah. gross. Bunny right? Drop is a bad... The thing is, that happens in the manga right after the anime cut off, but it happens. Right, now see, if this was like some dude helping like a college kid out, right, and there was some hot gay so that he, would be totally sweet. Is he 30 and he's 12? No, I'm like 20. Right? <laughs> that is not high school. This, is kind of, this has got to be pedophile action right here. It's clearly probably... It's so bothering me so much, we're going to the next slide. Sword guy. <laughs> During the forging of a sword, he loses his sword guy. It's sword guy. <laughs> it's not even an anime yet. This is actually a, a, ma uh, a manga magazine that cost 200 yen. He was on the oh, cover. Oh, he confused with weapons. He is a sword guy. He literally is a sword. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about swords. The sword is the gun. This is no dumber than no, Eat Man. <laughs> Eat Man is great, though. Yeah. Because I don't think to be as good as Eat Man. Heard of or seen Eat Man? This is the an anime you should go find and watch. It's, it's also about, a manga anime. It's, it's about a dude an who can eat anything and turn it into things. <laughs> like, like he'll eat a whole bunch of nuts and bolts, and then later when he has to shoot someone, like a gun just comes out. <laughs> eat man is great. Sword guy, not great. I don't know. Sword guy might be very <laughs> dumb, funny, weird. Well, listen, sword guy, I'll give you credit. You made it through 11 volumes of whatever magazine this is. <laughs> That's about all I'm going to give you. Sword guy, okay. Something, something, something. High school student is not allowed to do anything. Okay, so he's He wants to sleep. That's like me. Uh... <laughs> Wait, this is just a slice of life show about someone who doesn't do anything. <laughs> This, if I'm just feeling chill. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is, I, I feel like this might sit in the same realm as Nietzsche Well, like, no. Kind of, like, light. And what was that other slice of life show? The one with the, the witch girl? I think the witch girl one looks way better than this. But this the witch girl one is better, but this seems like it's the same kind of show. Right? It's based on a popular comic. <laughs> yeah. The, the characters actually seem kind of fun. Right? You got computer nerds, cool dude, exciting girl, way too exciting girl. <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> yeah. This might be a documentary. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not opposed to this. Dude, this dude's face up here. That dude's beard and that dude's beard. Look at the beards! Beards are rare in anime. They usually come with terrible powers. <laughs> oh, it's a sequel. What's your dad's terrible? I don't know anything about terrible. Other than that, there's a thing called Terraformers. I think there's a punching fighting show. Look what's going on down here. Oh, these guys down here are gonna punch. They're gonna punch and fight the giant humanoid cockroaches. <laughs> what's this green blob behind them, though? That's the planet. They're gonna punch the Earth? Well, look, so as far as I can tell. No, read the text. There's some sort of virus, and I guess there's humans 
for having punch fights with other humans that got infected with DNA, and that's the best I can come up with. We can skip it. Yeah. Okay, so this... So this show obviously has a big racist art problem. But if you crop this out, this actually looks like Parappa the Rap of the anime, cute and happy. So like, I kind of want to watch it for this cute and happy part, but the racial insensitivity is really taking them down like 10 hundred million points. I honestly don't expect this will be that good because there's a lot. We used to do a panel called like Bite Size Anime. We show like all these short anime. Yeah, I didn't put any of the short animes. These are all full TV series. This is a full TV series. This is gonna be a TV series for real. All the this, short anime were separate. I didn't put them on the list. This looks exactly like those shows that are like five minutes long and they make a million little episodes. And they're not that good. Yeah, but you know, this could be. I hope it's, you know, they, they fix their problems and it's just cute, happy rapping and DJing, right? Uh, I think there's also food involved. He runs a to tonkatsu restaurant and also is a DJ. Alright. Yeah, oh yeah, look, he's holding a big old fried, uh, whatever it is up here. Tonkatsu? Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is making me, me unhappy, yeah, easy joke. Let me, toss that, the same let me joke. toss that softball up there. <laughs> the unhappy. Uh, I don't know. It's a schoolgirl show. Well, the stereotype of the perennially unhealthy character, like that, that's still a thing? <laughs> Alright, it's still a show. That was the thing that the anime not that long ago made fun of. We've only got three minutes left, and we're nearing the end, because we're already at the letter U. Didn't we talk about Ushio and Toro 1 last time? Yes, and you know what? I ended up watching it. We were right. It's as good as I expected it to be. I'm gonna watch two. Oh, okay. I didn't watch any of it. Uh, there's, more, uh, there's more of it exactly one year after the first one. Yeah. Okay. So, we're done. That was it. What the anime's coming out right? soon. We got good timing on this. Yeah. Yeah. So we learned today that there's actually a lot of good anime coming out. Like, yeah. for every good five spring shows. season. Good job, Spring. Good yeah. job, Japan. You did good. Better than usual. I mean, it's still mostly stinkers. But there were like four or five good shows in there. I'm definitely going to watch. So I hope that was enjoyable. If you doubt us still, remember there's a video at this link of us doing this in 2013. You can watch that. And then you can look at the internet and see if we were right. We are almost always right. You can also come back to Anime Boston next year and tell us how right we were today. And we're done. Oh, you made a stupid slide. Okay. <laughs>